In the last video, we did the problem statement and the human algorithm. We, so we went ahead and we broke it down into the four different categories. And then we copy and pasted it into the human algorithm and cameled all the names. And now we're ready to do a flow chart. So the first one has an equal sign in it. So we'll use an assignment. Okay, then I'll just go ahead and simply copy walking fee. Control C and then paste it here. Control V. Uh, I can copy the number five, but I think I can probably type that without making an error. So I'll just go ahead and type it in. The next one is an input for num number of dogs. So I'll go ahead and copy that. I'll go back to my flow chart and do an in um, an input, which is the top one. We'll see that. I have a variable name, and that's where I'm going to paste in number of dogs. And then the more button allows me to type in the question. And I'll simply put in quotes, how many dogs, whoops, not dogs, and I'm done. And then I'll do the same thing for a number of hours. So actually, another thing I can do is to make myself uh, a little bit faster, I can do it, I can copy this and paste it in and the only thing that changes really is the name of the variable and dogs to hours so I'm still going to copy and paste number of hours because that's the only way I can guarantee that these are identical but down here I can just change this to hours Oops. And now I have my two inputs. So the next one is a assignment because it has an equal sign. So I'm going to go back in here, do an assignment. Whoops. And then on the right hand side is the variable, which is total. Copy that. Control V paste. And then on the right side will be all this. So I'll go ahead and copy these three, control C and control V. Now look at how that looks. That's not right. I'm missing some stuff. It's only because it doesn't fit inside the box. So whenever you're not sure whether it copied correctly, just drag the bottom of the box down and then you'll see the rest of your stuff. Don't recopy it. So if it's too small, it will cut off some of what you have. So you just have to make it a little bit bigger. Same goes with the variable. If you make it too big, just have to drag down the bottom of the box and it'll show you the rest of it. Uh, okay, so we're sure we got the whole thing. The last thing is output, and that output is for total. So I'll go ahead and copy that. And then select output. So with an output, we have to have two parts. We have to have a label and we have to have the variable. Label goes first, and that's always in quotes. And this is <coughs> the amount, whoops, owed by the client, colon, space, space, dollar sign. And then I'll go ahead and I'll join that using the plus symbol to what I picked, copied, which is total. All right, so now I'm going to be outputting that place in memory. I'll click OK. Okay, now I can go ahead and, and test it. I don't have any uh, test data on that one, so we'll just make it very simple. I'll hit the play button. And thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay, so how many dogs? So let's suppose he had 10 dogs, and he walked all 10 of those dogs for 10 hours. Click OK. Oh, it's a pretty penny. So they owe us $500 for that. So 10 times 10 is 100 times 5 is 500. So we know that that is correct. And that's good because now we're ready to code. So let's go ahead and code it. Uh, what we'll do is we'll bring up HTML kit. I will go ahead and select the HTML on there and press delete. Hit objects and then JavaScript to put in my script tags. And then I'll copy my human algorithm and paste it between the script tags. 
And again, now all I have to do is JavaScript to size it. So the first step is my blank places in memory. And it starts with var. My blank places in memory is always input and always the result of calculations. So just these three things have to go up there. So I'll do comma, space, comma, space, semicolon. And then I will select number of dogs, hold down my control key, and drag it up. Okay, and then I will select number of hours, hold down my control key. Whoops. Come on. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't want to comply. Hold down my control key and drag it up. And then total is my last one. Hold down my control key and drag that up. All right, so I got a little extra space here. JavaScript doesn't care, but I do, so I'm just going ahead and put that space back in. All right, and then there's a semicolon at the end. Let's make sure that's a semicolon. And then uh, the next thing is our assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and make a comment so I know what section that is. For the assignment, I'm going to declare walking fee and put five into it in one step. So I'm going to go ahead and select var space, hold down my control key, and drag it down. And then put a semicolon at the end, and I'm done. So for input, I have to get rid of the input colon. And then I have to assign to that place in memory what's returned from my prompt when I ask these questions. So what question do I put in my prompt? Well, I'll get that right from my flowchart because I've already made the question up for the number of dogs. And that is this question right here. So I'll copy that. And then I'll paste it into the parentheses. And remember, we always want to have a second argument, and those are separated by commas. The second argument is what default value. Well, 10 worked out well when we tested it last time, so let's put 10 in. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and do the same thing. I'll get rid of this input. But instead of typing that whole thing, why not just copy like we did with our flow chart and say, well, this is pretty much the same. So I'm going to copy it and paste it down here. And the only thing I have to change is hours instead of dogs. Okay, and I'm done. Whoops, except misspelled hours. For my calculations, even easier, all I have to do is put a semicolon at the end. All right, and then the last part is my output. I have to get rid of this output right here. Actually, what I'm going to do is, because I should have commented this and call this calculations, calculations, and I'm going to go ahead and put this as input. Um, I don't take off if you don't put comments in, but you'll find that when you look back at your code, it's so much easier to figure out what you're doing when everything is all nicely commented. All right, so we'll do the same thing with output. I'll put two slashes in front of it. Press enter uh, before total. And now this is where I'm going to have to put my document right. Document dot write space. Well, no space. And then a parenthesis close parenthesis and a semicolon. So the only thing I have to do is add the label. And the label, of course, was in the flow chart. So I'm going to go back to the flow chart. I've already tested it, so why rewrite it? I have the word total in there, so all I have to do is copy the rest. All right, I'm going to leave that open so we can see where that came from. All right, and then I just simply paste it in front of the word total, but after the open parenthesis. All right, and since that's the same as what we had here, I know it's going to work perfectly because it's already been tested. I don't have to worry about error messages uh, in my code if I copy and paste. All right, so let's see if this is going to be perfect. I will preview it. All right, dog. how many dogs? 10. How many hours? 10 and they owe us $500. Well, what about parse int? Remember in the last one we had to do parse int after the input. Well, we only had to do parse int because we were adding input values. So if I was saying number of dogs plus the number of hours, then 
I would have to use percent because it would join them instead of adding them. When you're multiplying, subtracting, dividing, you don't have to use percent because those ma mathematical operations will automatically convert it to a binary number. So remember that. Only when we're adding uh, places in memory where we're taking in those values from a prompt, because see, these are text, do we have to use percent. So don't percent it just for the heck of it. All right, that's it. Now we have coded out, um, we flowcharted and coded our solution.